Petra, what is wrong? It's my brother. Wallace was meant to return hours ago, but I've seen neither hide nor hair of him. He's usually punctual. I'd like to search the woods for him, but alone I fear I would have little luck. Would you join me? Two could cover much more ground. We should go now. Do you know where to start? Near Peterborough. It's where he buys his tanning liquids. I know he sometimes makes camp at a crossroads between here and there. Can retrace his steps. It's luck he hasn't done anything foolish. Is he prone to that sort of thing? Never. That's why his absence worries me. I told you how we found him, didn't I? You did. Led by a white elk to a lost babe in the woods. A fated encounter. Fated, yes. As if gifted from one guardian to another, he was bestowed on us like a... like a babe among the reeds. Have a look, Sunan. Over there. He may have stayed somewhere nearby. If he did, he left traces. What do you see? Oh no, Eivor! Over here! set of tools. If they belong to Wallace, why would he take them from his satchel here? That leads below ground, to who knows where. Let's keep our wits about us. Careful, Petra. Look at its eyes. There's something wrong with this one. Strange and heady. I don't recognize it. Yes, a familiar sourness. But I can't place it. Not the smell of death. It is almost pleasant.
must be Wallace's clothes. The trousers are wet. Probably pissed himself. Hmm. Wallace stayed here. Seems he made something to eat. What have you found? I saw it, Eivor. I saw him nearby. Wallace? The White Elk. The White Elk that brought me to Wallace years ago. It was there. I saw it there. Petra, where are you? I'm here! Come! Petra! Hello? Mimir, guide me. Have I lost her too? What do you see, Sunan? Petra! Show yourself! It's getting dark! <laughs> ah, the elk. He will know where she has gone. I am... I am sorry to trouble you, Lord. Eivor, nice to see you here. Are you the white elk Petra told me about? <laughs> of course I am. Look at me. Maybe you can help me. Petra has disappeared. I need to find her before the sun slips away. No, no. Petra hasn't disappeared. She's close, very close, and waiting for you. Follow me. You are the guardian of this place. Deliver comforting light. You are the guardian of this place. Deliver comforting life out here among the hills and dales of Mercia. Oh, I get on, you know. I eat, I sleep, I frolic. I want for nothing and enjoy every moment. It is a decent life. And what are you and Petra doing out here, lurking about in the woods? Hunting, maybe? In a way, yes. We're looking for her brother Wallace. She's been waiting for him all day. Oh, my dear, yes. Where could Wallace be? Oh, where? Oh, where indeed? Ha! Is Petra near? I fear we've lost her. She was here a moment ago. Well, what is happening? I cannot stay. Not here, not now. Here in Midgard, Return to Jotunheim! Go now or die here! What have you done with Petra? them talk, Petra. I must know the truth. I must know where you are. Abel, I am right here. There was no need to question this carrion further. Oh, yes. Sorry. Now come. I believe I know where we'll find Wallace. Up there. His trail leads this way. Petra, 
I met your old friend, the White Elk. But he vanished before my eyes before I found you. You were visited. For a time. We talked until he vanished into the empty air. A shame, really. I enjoyed his presence. Oh, look there. This is strange, say, dear Petra. Where are you? <laughs> Oh, come on! I'm up here! Petra? How are you doing this? There's no trick to it. I think <laughs> about it, and it works. Easy as walking. Try it. Again? Petra, how? How can I do that, Petra? Yes, just try it. Move! Run in a straight line! Oh, no! Too far! Too far! <laughs> Amazing! You did it, just like your Soonin! And not a scratch on you! Now let's go. Wallace should be over there. Are you sure Wallace is here? I see no one. I believe so. We should ask the rabbits. They will know something. Of course. The rabbits. We've been here before. This is where the wolves attacked us. Right. Let us hope their spirits are not restless and that they do not wake to maul us. Oh no. The wolf spirits have wakened. Good day, Squirrel. I hope I'm not intruding, but have you seen my brother Wallace? Damn! This one doesn't speak rabbit! Petra! Hurry! <laughs> Nothing to show for it. Uh, so what are we looking at? Wallace? You stone brain stoat, we've been looking for you! And here I am, freshly rested and ready to work. Your day's late! I was carrying quite a burden coming home, it slowed me down some, so I made a camp and picked some mushrooms for a nice soup. Turns out I picked some funny mushrooms, sent me into a tizzy, tore off my clothes, woke up naked and bruised in the woods. So I snuck home, naked as the day God made me, and grabbed some clothes. Now I'm off to get my tools. <laughs> mushrooms. So the elk. Just another dream. Maybe so. But don't scoff at dreams. They're often worth more than our waking hours. I may still be bussing from these mushrooms, but this is nice. I had fun today. Maybe we could do it again, without the mushrooms. We could, but I'll have to ask the rabbits for permission.
My love. I want to see the Alliance map. Tell me more about Kent. Basim has written, claiming to have found the woman Fulke and asking for your aid. He has taken shelter at St. Hadrian's Priory. Any news of Sigurd? Nothing he mentioned. But if he has found the paladin Fulke, Sigurd cannot be far behind. I will go as soon as I can. Good. Be safe, Favor. Me. This will get messy.
stretches to be through and good. They say when a stand of two my broken. Stretch your wings, Sunan. Did not Augustine make a distinction between <clears throat> Thor lends me strength? Did not Augustine make a distinction between faith and understanding? That is my point. What I mean to say is, faith is paramount. Yes, for without it, Christ's sacrifice means nothing. He died to save us, did he not? 
from the original sin of Adam and Eve? Yet evil persists. Yes, evil persists because he gave us free will. Does a newborn babe slain by a despot have free will? Yes. No, I mean, that is too simplistic. Or the priest whose heart is torn from his chest by the wolf? Judas, who was predestined to betray the Nazarene. Uh, some argue Judas was used. Do my ears deceive me, Brother Hortbert? You question the scriptures? Declare Judas an innocent? A preposterous blasphemy! No, no, uh, that is not what I said. <laughs> Brother Cedric, am I not the most pious of his servants? Out! Out! Making new friends? A person's tongue gives you a taste of their heart, Eivor. And such information is often useful. And how do these sallow Christians taste? It was only a figure of speech, Eivor. And I have tired of it already. Is this how it must be between us? Of course not. I'm grateful that you have come. So what of the Joy Kang of Fulke? In your message, you say you tracked her to Kent. She is here somewhere. And as of last month, Sigurd was with her. But there is no guarantee this will be the case tomorrow. So, what is your plan? We are deep in their god's heartland. A heathen and a heretic. To hunt Fulke, we'll need a Christian snare. Fulke is hardly a saint herself. These Christians abhor her strange ideas. True. But unlike us, she can carry herself as one of them. She won't hide from everyone, not with a prisoner in tow. So, where to begin? I've made a friend, Abbot Cunibert, full of pious fire, but with ambition that far outweighs his wit. And what does your friend Cunibert know? Come, I will introduce you, and we'll hear the full tale together. Have you found some peace in your time alone? at peace and never alone i move among the people of the world with great joy i watch them study them learn from them at all times this is our duty the hidden ones calling you know for the first time since we met you sound more like your apprentice than yourself <laughs> surely hyven sounds like me if i have taught him well your creed and your tenets you mean that's right and our sense of how should i say 
deep responsibility to the betterment of mankind. That's quite an ambition, but it does not explain what you see in Sigurd. My brother is not so generous. Ah, but your brother is someone special, important, and I want him to see that. I hope to show it to him. Is this not a blessed plot? God's own country. And this Eden should be given to his servants to tend. Abbot Cunibert, this is the Norse I spoke of. Ah, yes. And quite a fearsome one at that. Bassam says you know the paladin Fulke. Indeed. The Lady Fulke passed this way not more than a month ago. We talked, we drank. Very pleasant woman. And where is she? Eivor will be your axe, Abbot. Whether to fell a tree, or hew the limbs from an enemy. What have you promised him? Oh, just a trifle, Eivor. A little problem I believe you can help me with. Speak your terms plainly, Abbot. I will decide if the bargain is worth my time. Ah! Your wolf shows its teeth, Basim. Let's cut to the point. What favor would you ask in exchange for Fulke? Some weeks ago, our elderman in Kent was called to God. A terrible loss. King Alfred has chosen his replacement, but has not yet announced the name. I must know it. Now. All of Kent will see soon enough which thane he has chosen. Why not wait? I want early access. To woo him before his exalted position is made public and every fool is at his door. Who else knows the chosen man? The king's emissary, sent with a letter of congratulations to the new elderman. Intercept him and bring me the news. When I know the thane's name, we'll discuss how I might win his favor. If we do this, how will you find Fulke? I want some kind of assurance. Do you have ears in every church, abbey, and cathedral in Kent? Because I do. And I will find her. And we will do the deeds to staining for a Christian soul. This emissary, how will I find him? Tunbridge Monastery sent word that the King's men always pass a few nights in their hospitality. Begin there. I'll get the Elderman's name. You find Fulke. All in good time. Now, if we're done, I have business up the south coast. Falkenstone has the best fish in Wessex. Then I will find you there, when the Elderman's name is mine. Cunibert is ambitious, but well-connected. We will not find Fulke without him. I suppose we'll see. What will you do? I'm not done playing with these Christians yet. I will see you in Falkenstein.
All right, just a little break. Alfred's emissaries spend a few days here. Someone may know where he went. Hello there. Until next we meet. See you again soon. I must take my leave. So long. Get away with you! You tried to catch flies, or would you ask something of me? I'm looking for a man. He passed through here on the King's business. No, bugger off here, or I'll call the guards. I'm sick of people. You need to heal your own ills. Maybe some coin will lose your lips. A wise move, Mudwit. It so happens I did see Alfred's man. He's long gone, though. Maybe Gowan the Bard knows where. Where will I find him? Well, he was pissed as a newt. Last I saw, he was passed out in trees between the arbor and bridge. Oh, now go find someone else to vex. There was a bard drinking with the emissary. I should find him, see if he knows anything. Show me. That ale swamped scob can't have gone far. Oh, 
Someone stole my food. La 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 la, Fanny. You there. You alive. <laughs> Patience is a tired horse. Plodity plod plod. <laughs> Another tottering teat sucker who can't hold his drink. Let's clear your head. In here? Oh, oh, God's truth! Fire on you! Oh, what infernal wakes me? Are you the tail weaver? Gowan the dandelion. For the seeds of my stories flit upon the winds of Wessex. But why, mule, do you kick my noggin? You and Alfred's emissary were drinking in the tavern. Tell me where he went. Were we? I was so ale-addled. Perhaps a small and silver thing upon my palm might help me recall? How about something long and sharp in your gut? All right, no need for that. You paint a vivid picture, Dane. He was headed to the white coast to the southeast. Dover Fortress. He said it is where they train those religious fanatics, zealots. They pray all night instead of sleeping. My thanks, and in return, wisdom. Too much beer piping will grow a fool in wit and words. My thanks, weaver of the obvious. Now leave me to my unholy punishment. The emissary made for Dover Fortress, on the southeast coast. Over. The emissary is somewhere here. Perhaps I can find the letter without bloodshed. The bard said paladins trained at this fortress. This will not be an easy fight. Thank you. 
go. Soon. your eyes, my friend. If I could steal the letter without killing the emissary, it would keep me out of trouble. <gasps> hey! Wait, who interferes with the king's business? Guards! Guards!
Alfred's chosen elderman is a thing called Tetment. The abbot Kunibert would want to know. I should meet Bassem and the abbot in Fulkenston. Oh, you must try my ale sometime. You must... Eivor, you have news? Kent's new elderman will be Thane Tedmund. Tedmund? Oh, the Lord is testing me. He is made mouse by you Danes. Barely leaves his fortress at Rusister. How might I gain his influence if he will not speak to me? Or to anyone? It is a puzzle. To inspire loyalty, Tetman must owe you something. Such is his life. Go on. A fortress stormed. A man kidnapped. If you beat back his enemy, saved him from sure death, his gratitude would be... Swell. It would know no bounds. But that fortress will be harder to pry open than a nun's knees. Perhaps... Perhaps not. Are you hiding something, Bassam? There is a lumber mill nearby, correct? Bemisfield. Alfred invests much in fortifying Wessex, and uses our forests to do so. The mill provides his wood. Tedmund is there. Impossible! How do you know? I heard rumors that Tedmund had been lured out of self-exile to manage work on the fortifications of Canterbury. Taking him from a lumberyard is less dangerous than assaulting a fortress, but your rescue attempt will not have the same flair. Is it worth it? It may still work. Yes. Yes. Bring him to the Megaliths. And Fulke? When I have Tedman's fealty, you shall have Fulke. Now go. 
I will rustle up a small rescue party. I'm wary of this abbot, Basim. He is self-serving and evasive. Can he really deliver Fulke? The abbot is a friend of Fulke's. That is clear. So long as he doesn't suspect our motive, we may have a chance. Indeed. This brings to mind a story. Perhaps you've heard of it. The Scorpion and the Frog. A children's story? A cautionary tale. The Scorpion wants to cross the river, but he cannot swim. So he enlists the help of the Frog. The frog agrees to carry him on his back, extracting a promise that the scorpion will not sting him. Let me guess, the scorpion Rene explaining his nature and both drown. But the scorpion crosses the river and stings an innocent man, killing him. So what does this tale tell us? That your stories are clouded, and their meaning doubly so? It shows that every tale has a thousand possible outcomes, many of which are surprising. If the abbot does not deliver Fulke, at my hand. And we will continue our search. A sobering approach. <laughs> Bemisfield is just ahead. Lead. I will follow. Chase will catch us a plump hen. Once the abbot has Tedmund, Gladditch, he will deliver Fulke. It will cost us nothing more than this. If that leaden wit keeps his word. Show me what lies ahead. Let's go hooded here. Ah, oh, you prefer to work in the shadows. Cast about this land, my friend.
We have a quarter to fill. We must keep the Danes from Kent. Come on, you lazy hounds. I don't pay you to lollygag. going on. Caterwauling and you live. Live? Oh, saints protects me! Silence will save you, Tidman. Silence, not your saints. <laughs> Flee, my friend. We have the man we came for. Does this venture not set your blood ablaze? You don't prefer working in the shadows. And so we have. To steal a man, take him with swiftness, and escape without anyone on our heels. We hide in plain sight. Such is our way. But only until the moment of success. The final strike. I prefer to act and speak plain. 
Kings and lords who do not are often misunderstood. Yet, as a leader yourself, you cannot deny that subtlety and intrigue are a cloak you must wear. How many of your clan know the true circumstances of Sigurd's absence? Hmm. You see my point. A leader must know when to speak and when to stay silent. For silence is not always a lie. It can feel like one. You truly embrace the concept of hiding in plain sight, eh? To its very fullest. As I do in everything. Halt, Danes! In the name of Alfred, King of Wessex, I demand you release his royal subject <gasps> into my care. Come no closer, Christian. Else your man dies by my blade. Please, I, I'm not the man you want. Keep your eye on this one. He'll be worth a hefty bounty. Any false moves and I will snip your heels. We have your man. Now let's finish this shadow play and be gone. Are you sure that's Tedmund? He's dressed as a lord, but that man is shorter and fatter than I recall. I'm not Tedmund. I, I, I'm not. I, I swear upon the holy rood. I, I am not Thane Tedmund. What in heaven's name is happening here? Who are you? Speak quickly or I'll slit your throat and leave you for the crows. Shergar. I, I'm called Shergar. Lord Tedmund pays me a measly coin to serve as his double. Brother Shergar. You are far from Augustine's priory. Uh, I left the cloisters many moons ago, Your Holiness. The monastic life was not my calling. We can use you yet, Shagar. Summon Tedman to a meeting. Get him out in the open. Tedman has no care for me or what I have to say. My orders come by letter, never by mouth. I hardly know the man. You're of no use to us then. Perhaps I should just kill you here or now. No, no, wait, 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 wait. wait. Let, let, let me think. Let, let me think. Oh, Danes. T -t to storm the walls, you need Danes. Th there's a raiding camp west of here. I was told to be wary of. I acting as Tedmund, I ordered a band of soldiers to capture them. If you hurry, you may be able to stop this. If another band of Danes wants to join our assault, we'll have the distraction we need to get inside Roosister. If the Saxons don't slaughter them first... I, I am still Tedmund to the men in the field. I could speak with their captain, send his men away. It's a fearless plan. The Nornia knit winding paths that cannot be unknotted. It seems Roosister was always in our path. Abbot, stay alert. We will send word when we're ready to capture Tedmund. And this fool? He knows much of our plan. He'll come with us, and if he betrays me, I will roast his balls over a roaring fire. You, you, you will not regret this. My wily ways and quick wit will cease the need for bloodshed. I still might kill you yet, man, if your prattling doesn't cease. The rewards for being Tedmund are rapidly diminishing. And how does one become a double? 
Are there vigorous challenges and tests to overcome? I was born with the misfortune of looking like someone else. I should have stayed on God's chosen path. What took you from it? I'm the seventh son of a poor farmer. And not wanting another mouth to feed, my father gave me to the monks. The cloistered life did not suit you. I thought there would be great comfort in repetition. But instead I found nothing but prayer and back-breaking toil. The Norns weave strange destinies. Now your life depends on the story you weave for yourself. I am not a good forger. I still tears bled and my hands sweat and I have a stutter when I'm nervous. But, but, but I will try. <laughs> ah, the cornerstone of all great art. The captain does not know Tedman well. If we keep our heads, he will not question my orders. I hope. <laughs> We are too late. There is great horror here. Those who remain must be saved, whatever the cost. Let us approach the captain with caution. He drinks too much and does not need a reason to kill us. Yes, it is I, Thane Tedmund, coming to discuss the orders I gave to you not one day ago. This hamhock will get us all killed. You murdered our people! Men, women, children! Pipe down, you dogs! You slaves of Kent now! Say, Tedmund, what are you doing here? How dare you address me in such a defiant manner! Do you not know who I am? You are Tedmund, as I've said. And I mean no disrespect, Lord, but I was told you were back in Rue, sister. Oh, yes? And, 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 and do I... Do, do I look like I'm in Rue, sister? You, uh, do not, sir. A wise man is always unexpected. You travel in strange company, Lord. An Arab and a Dane. I'm here to advise your Thane in the ways of my people. That, that is correct. A cultural exchange of sorts. Perhaps one day I will visit your... Uh, D Dane... Daneland. Norway. You mistake me for a foreigner. But are we not all just a measure of the places we have seen? Right. Well, that aside, have you any further orders, Lord? Yes. Yes. I order, I order you to stop loitering and return to your barracks, you scabwit. And what of the captured Danes? You must kill them all! Every last... Sorry, no. Uh, leave them here, tied up, as a... As a feast for wolves and crows. That is all, you may depart. Shoo! A convincing ruse that has earned you your freedom. Go, and make your life anew, not in another man's boots. I will. This small sup of power has got me thinking. Perhaps I could be a l leader of men. Yes, yes! Hurry along, men! Warm thighs and ale awaits! Come on, you laggards! You have Tedman's orders.
Rest your wings, Sunan. Okay. 